Hey guys, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm back. Um, don't ask why I haven't made videos for such a long time. It's a complicated story. Anyway, uh, and today I'm going to tell you what I use on my face um, in the morning. Mm, the first product is um, called Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. And this one is in almond um, because it's smells like almond um, great stuff very simple uh, six ingredients not commonogenic cleans your face very well um, lathers great too and you could use it for practically anything you could use this as a body wash as a shampoo as a <coughs> excuse me as a detergent cleaning your floors and not because it's so like you know tough no, it's because it's very gentle and it does the job well. It's saponified oils, coconut and olive oils. Saponified, keyword, not just the oils. Don't worry, it's not going to cause any pimples. Um, and they added uh, glycerin, jojoba oil, uh, and vitamin C, and citric acid as a uh, preservative. Uh, excellent stuff I love it uh, if you have eczema psoriasis use it you won't be disappointed might be a little drying for the people with dry skin if you do have dry skin I suggest there's a called the cleanser called hemp hemp hooray I'll put it on the thing um, it's also very good uh, it's for people with very dry skin um, Pretty much similar to this, except it's not saponified, but it's made out of hemp oil, and hemp doesn't cause any kind of pore clogging. Um, okay, so next I follow with a toner. I like Witch Hazel as a toner. Uh, which brand? Theirs, and uh, Theirs has many kind of flavors. Um, I personally like peach, that's my favorite scent. Um, a lot of people hate it, I have no idea why. It works great. It cleans, um, but at the same time, it doesn't dry. It does have alcohol in it, so be careful. If you have very sensitive skin, it might irritate it. For me, personally, nothing bad happened. I used it. I love it. It smells amazing. Plus, it has a lot of great extracts in it, like kiwi, orange, peach, tangerine, lemon, all that, all that good stuff. Um, so, I like it a lot, honestly. Um, works great. Um, and then, last but not least, um, I use Be Yummy Skin Food by Live Live. It looks really ghetto here. That's because I've been using it for a very long time. Uh, but it smells like a banana smoothie. It has that kind of earthy smell. I personally am crazy about it. When I first bought it, I was like, what the hell is that? You know, plus it looks like this. This is what it looks like. It's weird. It doesn't come off brown on your face, though. Very excellent. Absorbs immediately, and it's completely natural. It has honey, honey cappings, bee pollen, propolis, St. John's wort oil, pure jelly, pure needles, royal jelly, sorry. Royal jelly is an amazing ingredient, actually. Uh, and balsam for needles. Only problem is that this is a little bit pricey. But if you're pregnant, and if you have eczema, and if you have very sensitive skin, I suggest you use this. If you have sensitive skin, you'll react to basically any kind of chemical. And trust me, uh, Neutrogena, everything that's targeted towards sensitive skin, that's mainstream, has at least one ingredient that's irritating. Trust me. Um, so, um, why don't you try this? You know what I mean? They could always send you a sample if you're iffy about it. I personally like it. Uh, and, you know, I don't feel guilty because I know what I'm putting on my face is natural and good. It might not be a perfect cream. I like it a lot. It might not be perfect. But at least in 20 years I won't regret. You know what I mean? Who knows what? One second. It's my boyfriend coming in there. It's okay, you can come. Don't be quiet. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> Alright, anyway. I'm sorry. Um, so that's the products that I use. Um, you can use this for nighttime too, but for nighttime I, um, use a few more things. 